Do you want to improve at a quicker pace? Check out getgoodracing.com. I've coached hundreds of drivers from real life racers to sim enthusiasts who experience rapid improvement after just one session. And while investing in top-notch hardware is great, imagine how much more you can elevate your experience by adding coaching to the mix. My methods are practical, aiming to break down complex concepts into easily digestible bits that are simple to understand. You can find reviews of the sessions I've conducted on the Fiverr link provided in the video description. Let's elevate your racing skills together. Now for the track guide. For turn 1, what you want to do is to open up by using this exit road on the left side. You want to put half the car on the left side of the white line, like right now before turning in. And while turning into this corner, this is an easy flat, but very important to take a late apex. So you want to apex closely to the end of this curve on the right side. If you're gonna apex earlier, you will run out of track. So in order to be flat and to have a good run up to this corner, you have to apex late. Now going into the next corner, I want to break in the middle of this curve, so right now, but it's super important here to break less than you think. You just want to shoot the car deep into this corner, you just want to carry the speed. You don't want to overslow the car here, just because you will gain a lot of time, like legit gaining three tenths by just braking 10% less. So carry the speed into the corner, barely touch the brakes and still in fifth gear you have to cut this curve and even before hitting it you have to go back on power. This is key here. So braking less and being very early on power. And it's okay if the car gets pushed all the way to the left side as long as you don't get the 1x on the grass. You can easily take the 1x if you push a bit more. But your goal will be to have the left side of the car at the end of this curb. If you're not using the curb enough, then you're losing a lot of time here. Now for these corners right now, flat out corners, but the most important thing is to do the least amount of movement with the steering wheel. So you're going to imagine that you're going to take the straightest line possible into this corner. So first limiting this curb here, now this one here, and now this one on the right side. So barely touching the steering wheel. And for this corner, you want to brake again in the middle of this curve, but super important, you have to brake soft. Soft braking and downshifting to fifth. This is gonna, if you're gonna brake a bit higher than that, the car will either spin under braking, just because this is a quite difficult corner to brake, shift the weight and the balance, and then in the trail brake, the car balance will be all over the place. So you want to be very smooth with your inputs. So look at my braking, I'm braking 90%, 19%. So don't brake too much. The common mistake here, and you will see it all the time, people are gonna brake here like 25, 30% and will kill the momentum going into the corner. You want to touch this curb on the exit, but barely touch it, barely kiss it at the end of it. Don't use too much this curb, the car will spin. And even before touching this curb, you should be back on power. So you're gonna be very early on power and use all the track right now, like that. That's a perfect thing to do in this corner, to use all the track on the exit. For the next corner, I'm using as a reference for breaking this line. It's the second white line on the track. Breaking at the line and again, very smooth on the brakes. Your challenge will be to find the minimum brake pressure. Don't brake too hard, you're gonna lose a lot of time and momentum, just really pushing the car into the corner, being on power earlier than the apex again, just because this is a compression zone and you have a lot of grip, you have to be very early on power. Don't touch this curb, it will unsettle the car and it will make your throttle application be a bit difficult. And for this one, my reference for braking is the moment that I straighten up the car. So right now I still have the wheel like this. The moment that the wheel is straight, like right now, now I'm applying the brakes. You want to brake in a straight line into this corner. You don't want to brake even with five degrees angle, that's gonna make you less efficient under braking. So brake in a straight line, stay in third gear, and you will feel like the inside ride will start to lock up. If you feel that, release the brakes even more quickly and touch this curb. Notice that I'm on power again before touching the curb. That's gonna be key because this is a long, long straight and you really want to put the power down nice and early without many corrections. This car is very easy to drive with a fixed setup, so I think it's gonna be possible for everyone to do that with a bit of practice. Now going into the last section of the track, 
My reference for braking is the second line again on the on the track. So right now I'm applying the brakes. I brake a bit too hard here. So I pick 80%. I think you should stay around 70% braking. So brake a bit earlier and softer. You will carry more speed and you will have a bit more rotation because of that. So force yourself to not go to 80% into this corner. I'm quite sure that you can gain a lot more. Now putting the power down as soon as you get the curb on the left side and it's very important here to not do a lift. So you will take these corners like this without a lift. So 100% throttle that's gonna be the key with the fixed setup. And the last corner don't go all the way to the left side since you have enough downforce to make the corner without using all the tracks. So basically you will try to cover a shortened distance and in short that's a track guide for Road Atlanta with the Super Formula Lights. I hope you have a great week ahead and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.